Okay, today we're going to learn how to use imperial micrometers. Imperial micrometer will read in inches. So the micrometers generally read in one inch between, so zero to one inch, one to two inch, two to three inch, three to four inch. So this particular micrometer, it tells you right on the micrometer what increments it's going to measure. It measures between zero to one inch. We're going to go over some of the parts of this micrometer. So this part is called anvil. This part is called spindle. So this part goes back and forth right here. Okay. Here's a lock. This is called a thimble. So this part spins as well. Here's a ratchet. Whenever you're operating the ratchet or you're using the micrometer to take measurements, you always use it from the ratchet. Okay. Next thing, the lock. When the lock is towards the thimble, the way it is right now, it's unlocked. When it's towards the spindle, it's in lock position. Just remember not to use the micrometer if it's in lock position. If you're feeling any resistance on the ratchet or thimble, that means the lock is on. There should be no resistance. You should be operate, able to operate this with your two fingers. So how do you use a micrometer? So for example, if we're measuring this dowel right here, so you would use, remember to use it from the ratchet. I'm not going right here. Go from the ratchet. So go around the, the dowel, okay? With the ratchet, make sure it's unlocked. Go up till you hear these clicks. When you hear these clicks, that means the ratchet is clicking in. You don't need to keep on forcing it. Then you use the lock, put the lock on, okay? Once the lock is on, then you can remove the piece or you can just keep it, depending on if the piece is small enough, you can leave it in. Okay, so we have another micrometer here. So this micrometer is actually one to two inch. Just wanted to show you a different micrometer. So if you look on the frame right here, it tells you it's one to two inch micrometer. Okay. Uh, second difference is the lock on it. The lock on this type of micrometer is right here. It's a ring. So if, it, if you're spinning it counterclockwise towards you, it's unlocked. If you go clockwise, it's locked. Okay, we're gonna start reading the micrometer. What I need you to watch is, there's a zero line right here on the sleeve, okay? And then there are a bunch of numbers on the thimble here. So what happens when we go from zero 5, 10, and the numbers, you have to go counterclockwise to go up, 15, 20, back to 0, which is actually 25, okay? What it does is it exposes one line on the sleeve. It exposes one of these tiny lines on the sleeve. I'll go once again, so 10, 15, 20, there you go, it exposes another line, I'll go again, it exposes another line, I go again, it exposes another line. Okay, we're going to start learning how to use this micrometer now. So what are all these numbers, what are all these lines, what, how do you read it? So the imperial micrometer. So the easiest way to remember is, if you think of these numbers here that gets exposed when you turn the thimble, is they're dollars. Think of these as dollars, okay? But the micrometer, remember, it's going to be starting with a decimal. So the dollars, so if you were to write this one, you would write it as decimal zero 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 if you were to write this dollar you would write it as decimal one zero zero this one decimal two zero zero and so on depending on what number do you see so we'll call these dollars okay next we have our 25 cents quarters so between each dollar we have three 25 cents so this one is the first one is 25 cents, but if you're writing a dollar like this, the 25 cent is going to be written as decimal 025. Next one is, if that's 25, this is 50 cents, 050. This one is decimal 075. You go back to your full dollar, again, 25 cents, 50, 75, full dollar, 25, 50, 75, and so on. So those are, those are your quarters. So let's write quarters. 
Okay, so those are dollars, those are quarters. Now we're gonna go back to our um, cents or pennies, okay? Depending on which country are you in. So we have, it starts zero somewhere here. Remember, you gotta turn it counterclockwise coming down and the numbers go up. So we see what's matching with this line, the zero line, this line right here, which one is matching with it. So what we can see here is this is five cents, okay, so, but you won't write five, decimal five zero zero because that will change into a dollar. So this one will be written as decimal zero zero five. Okay, this one is decimal zero zero six. This is decimal zero zero seven. Decimal zero zero eight. Decimal zero zero nine. This one will be written as decimal zero one zero. Here is equal to one more, decimal zero one one. Okay, so these are your cents or pennies. Okay, so once you get this part, from there it's simple. You just need to add it up. So what's exposed here? The biggest dollar, which one is the biggest dollar that's exposed? The biggest dollar that's exposed is three. Okay, so we write it as decimal three zero zero. We got that from right here. Okay. Next, how many quarters are exposed after the big dollar? Because this is the part that spins, right? I've shown you that previously. So this is the part that spins. How many quarters are exposed after the big dollar? What I see is one, two, three. So three lines, small lines, gives us 75 cents. That will be decimal zero seven five. Now we gotta look at the last thing. Last is our pennies. We get it from here. Which one of the penny is in line with this zero line? Okay. That is eight. So decimal zero zero eight. Okay. Now all we gotta do is we just need to add them up. So we got 13, 8 plus 5, 13, 7 plus carry on, 8, 3, decimal, okay, and it's in inches, so there's a symbol for inch. The measurement, what you see here is decimal 383 of an inch.